Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest V! Since last time, I made it back to the stairs there, and now we're going to take, well, the only path that we can take for now. It's dangerous to go together. Yeah, how's he going to get through this place if we can? Well, anyway, just got to drop down here. So, yeah, there's going to be a whole lot of things like that, where you gotta drop down pits, and off of a cliff, and whatever. So, yeah, it's all gonna loop around. Not nearly as mazy as the cave to Rome, no, you're not beating that one, but this one's pretty mazy. We got a new enemy here, Dragoo. I don't think I showed him off earlier. Anyway, uh, you could use Cussap on them, but they don't have that much defense or HP to begin with. So I'm not really worried about that. Any elemental spell will work on them. They, they're they pretty vanilla creature. They don't have any abilities, at least as far as I know. So I wouldn't worry about it. So pretty easy to take them out. Here we get some, eh, restless armor. Probably just sell it. Is that supposed to be a pun? What do you mean where the light shines? Anyway. Let's see. There's nothing to the right there. So, we just gotta go up here. Can we zoom back to Battenberg? I don't think we can. Uh, no! No, we can't. Okay. That's such a shame, too. It's one of my favorite villages in the game. Oh, well. Might be what? Might be what?! You're not gonna tell us, are you, game? Well, most of you can probably guess by now, but... Well, I won't spoil it for you. Anyway, back there we got an Yggdrasil Elite, if you haven't played a Dragon Quest game before. Uh, it's basically like a Phoenix Down, except in Dragon Quest, they're extremely rare. And we got another Mimic here, so let's Brain Magic it again. Yeah, I'm getting pretty lucky against these Mimics here. They haven't, uh, sometimes they just, well, usually, I would think, they have pretty good agility and they can outrun you. And they'll get their spell off before you can damage them at all. Yeah, you see, he just tried to cast Thwack there. Instant death to all my party members. That would have been really bad. So, you just gotta keep on draining magic back and forth, back and forth, while you're killing him, and hopefully you you won't get killed in the process. And for defeating him, we get Mini Metal number 27. Alright. Man, there's a lot of Mini Metals in uh, this place here. So... Gotta heal up after that one. Holy cow. And in this chest we get mini metal number 28. Alright. Doing pretty good there. I think we go left. Or we could have another battle. Why not? We got another new enemy. Hocus Chimera. Uh, let's take out the mini demon there. Use snooze on the chimeras there. Now, yeah, they can get snoo- or sizz. Uh, they can cast Heal, Dazzle, a whole bunch of spells there. So, you want to watch out for that. Fortunately, their physical attack isn't too much to worry about. You could Dazzle them if you wanted to, but I think Snooze is good enough. Let's see. Ah, oh, this wasn't the one I thought it was. But anyway, in this chest we get Mini Metal number 29. It is 29, right? Lost count. Yeah, it's 29. Although I already exchanged 23 of them, but... Well, I'm just gonna keep on going in numerical order. So... Uh, oh! I almost forgot about that one. Money! Nice that people leave it around, lying around. Oh, yeah! We did get that thing. So that's what a binnacle is. Let's check it out. Well, there we go. I didn't know that actually did anything. Oh, there we go. You learn something new every day. Someone was telling me, H.C. Bailey, a binnacle is actually where they put the compass on, like, a ship. Or a sailing ship. So I was like, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm not, I, I don't know much about nautical terminology. Yeah, I know that's a real shock to you viewers, but... Yeah, H.C. Bailey, not a sailor. I hope not. My grandpa was a sailor back in the day. Navy Captain. Lived a very, very long time. Yeah, 
How's it going? Oh, really? Um, no, no. I don't need one. I've got plenty of mini metals. Nah. Ooh, a flowing goods. No, no, that's not mine. Never had any of those. Hey, hey, all right. So, yeah, the game tries to trick you there. If you say no, then you get all three of the items, including mini metal number 30. And uh, flowing goods. So, all right, there you go. Nice little lesson for the kids there. But anyway, uh, we want to give that flowing dress to Bianca there. So, let's do that. Yeah, nice defense boost. And it's got the same, or at least similar protections that it did in the last game, so it's really nice. Yeah, if you say yes to the guy, like the first time, all you do is you get the first item, and that's it. You can't get the other two items. So you gotta say no to all three of them in order to get all three of the items. So, yeah, they trick you like that, but, uh, well, fortunately, I'm an honest guy, and I didn't feel like screwing around with him. It's not e evil H.G. Bailey today. No, no, I'm, I'm a good boy today. But we gotta get more treasure! Remember this room for later, please. Let's see. Well, let's grab that treasure first. Nuts. Not another one. Well, at least these guys are easy enough to deal with. Hey, stop letting your tongue hang out like that. Nuts. Too bad we can't get Sap to work on him. He just has so much defense, it's hard to damage him at all. I don't think spells work too well on him either. Uh, well, you could use Woosh on him. It's about the only elemental magic that could really work on a Mimic, but, uh, I don't think so. My, my physical attacks are better than that. Alright, got him. And for defeating him, we get Mini Metal number 31. Alright. I think that's the last Mini Metal. Yeah, what is that, like seven? Or... Yeah, seven Mini Metals in one dungeon. Holy cow! Maybe we get the Staff of Divine Wrath, just like the last game. Use it as an item in battle, and it'll cast Swoosh. So, I'll probably uh, give that to someone eventually. I don't really care about it at all. I might just leave it in my bag. I'll think about it. But, yeah, the, uh... Using weapons as items in battle to cast spells, not nearly as useful in this game as it was in the last game, unfortunately. Come to think of it, attack magic in general just isn't that useful. Those other stairs there, they just lead to a dead end, or loop around, or whatever, so let's just go back down. Now remember this room? you got to go down the middle pit, and that'll take you towards the exit. So, there you go. Yeah, attack magic will be useful eventually, but uh, right now, at this point in the game, not so much. Malay is pretty well king. Later on in the game, magic becomes more useful, which is kind of odd for a JRPG. Usually they make magic very useful earlier in, or attack magic very useful early in the game, and melee becomes more useful later on. But, uh, well, this game, it's the other way around. It's one of the reasons why I don't like Debra, but then again, it could just be because she's not really good at much of anything. I mean, she's more melee than ma magical, but... Those stairs up there, they just loop back around. Don't take them. So, yeah, I don't really care much for Debra. I don't think... Uh... Eh, never mind. Sancho? Could it be? We must be getting close. Ah, finally made it to the other side. I like talking to you too, Bianca. I hope so, too. Gotham City? No, no, just Gotham. Now, you could enter the castle right through the front gate, but you really can't go much of anywhere. So, we're just going to go around to the side. Why there's just one little house right there, I don't know, but well, whatever. 
I wonder what she was talking to him about. What was the point of that? I mean, they put that in there so that's something significant. No! Ha ha ha! Ah, sad music. It is you! I can tell by the purple turban. That's another nice thing I, I like about marrying Bianca. You get a little extra dialogue here with her. I like that. It's a nice touch. The other two ladies? Eh, not so much. So, oh wow. I'll be honest, though, this music gets me a little choked up. It's beautiful. Ah, oh, Prince Albert. He must be evil! Ruling the kingdom in my place. What do you think he's gonna do? Just hand over the throne on a silver platter? Well, I guess he could give us a room to stay for the night, at least. That would be nice. Yeah, you see, we got uh, guards everywhere. We can't go anywhere, really. Well, I guess we could have talked to a few people, but... now nah, whatever. I wanted to move on with the pot. How's it going? It looks just like every other king. Oh, Prince A- Oh my- I cannot believe it! I did not get the Prince Albert's pun. Oh my- I, I just got it just now while I was- while I'm recording this now. Oh man. <laughs> okay, you got me, game. You got me. How's it Huh? Not again. She must be deeply afflicted with the Bailey curse to not put her arms in front of her when she falls on her face like that. Oh. Well, at least she's okay. What kind of condition? What do you mean by that? What's wrong with Bianca? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest V! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!